This season celebrates a remarkable achievement. 2017 constitutes the golden anniversary of the Rogue Valley Symphony. Just how long ago was November 1967? Tonight, it seems like just yesterday. The excitement is in the air. Just what makes this all so exciting? You know, I, I, I believe that music making is essential to a cultured life. And that music really conveys a message that the spoken word can't. I think the most special thing for me was the relationship of all the people there and how much everybody cared. I look back on it and what an experience. A lot of great music and it has grown so much. Well, having, you know, 60, 80 or more people on stage playing in harmony, basically um, giving the same same message to you, unified. It's gorgeous. It's just, it's very, it's very powerful. And it's, you know, it's a, for me, it's amazing. Not really amazing, but but it's uh, to be aware that the musicians here are really top-notch, proficient, professional players, and they make up a good symphony. Well, I think it's very important because it enhances the quality of the arts in this area. I played principal flute for 18 years and I managed the symphony officially for 10 years, but I actually have been working with the symphony for almost almost their total 50 years. Then I went on and was the uh, ticket supervisor and the librarian, and actually I've been the librarian almost since the inception of the symphonies. One of my first performances with the orchestra, um, we played on the stage at, at Shakespeare for the, the Symphony of the Air broadcasts uh, for NBC. And we played uh, his uh, ver uh, version of America. We played um, uh, Finlandia. That, uh, it was a, a beautiful sunny day and you know, it was one of those spectacular days that you just don't ever forget. In year eight and nine of the symphony, I became its conductor following a good friend of mine, Fred Palmer, who started it. And uh, we had a tremendous association for years at Southern Oregon and as good friends. For me, and we actually would, in those days, all the concerts were threesomes, one in Ashland, one in Medford, one in Grants Pass, played the same concert everywhere. So she and I would go there in a U-Haul truck, dressed to the teeth and do all the setups and get everything ready for the concert because there was no money to hire people to do all that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, Rite of Spring, I believe they played once, and some really the, the hardest music you can play in a symphony. They, they did it, and did it very well. So that, that was all, always, always uh, outstanding when I was here. For myself, I think always our opening night of the season, every season, is so exciting because we haven't been able to play for the audience for several months and we have just come back together and it's it's just a thrill to to see especially when there's this continued improvement in the orchestra year by year. I think our current conductor and previous conductors who have had such a passion for the community, their love for the community, their love for making sure that their audiences learn and no one rides on their laurels from the past. Um, just like Martin, Art made sure that not only was he growing constantly, but he was making sure the audiences grew constantly. One of the things that Martin and I really wanted to focus on when he came on board, we already had great musical education programs uh, going on with the symphony but we wanted to have an even greater impact. You will never find your way into the concert hall if uh, you were not exposed to it um, prior to, you know, in, in your previous life. So um, uh, I don't worry as long as we have good music education.
so the symphony to me is kind of the epitome or apex of high quality entertainment, music that's lived in many cases for many centuries and appeals to human emotions and uh, peace and contentment and just sort of engulfs one who appreciates this kind of music and just wants more of it, you know, and just comes and attends and listens and goes away feeling really good and wonderful. Any art that you can bring to a community, music, visual, film, uh, is what makes the community so special. So I would love to see the symphony continue to do what they have done for so long, which is to bring together all these wonderful musicians to perform great music for all of us who love it. I have a, I have a dream here that has been uh, partially fulfilled, but I don't think we quite exhausted the potential here. What I want for the future is more of the same in terms of the passion, the commitment, uh, the community's concern to see that the symphony musicians and the symphony conductor are supported. Uh, well, I hope it is going strong, that it has grown, that they're still performing in Medford, Ashland, Grants Pass, and maybe more communities. That would be what I would love to see, and that, that they're, they're really performing for all ages and sharing the, these fabulous pieces from, from the past, but also that these wonderful up-and-coming composers that, in fact, this year we're going to be playing new, new works. It's very exciting. I want to see this orchestra keep growing, and uh, you know, I want to show the rest of the country and the world that it's possible to build something uh, that sort of transcends the area. We wish to thank each of you tonight for your steadfast support and care of our great symphony over the past 50 years. To quote founder Fred Palmer, the Rogue Valley Symphony represents an opportunity for music lovers to hear good music expertly performed. Thank you, Fred. Here's to making beautiful music.